Alright guys, we're back for another episode of The Captain. In the last episode, we rescued this dude. Where is he? Upstairs. Oh yeah, Glacies. Oh, he's in there. He's having a chat. He's having a dinner. Are you there, Captain? We killed him and then got his wife. Told him his wife was dead and then decided actually no, we should keep him in as crew. But now we're going to go to this fuel cell location um, map incident for today's episode. There we go, into the escape pod. What's his name? Oh, I love the music. Landing complete. Also, a fuel cell detected. You found the fuel cell already? Don't sound so surprised, Captain. You should know by now that I operate on a different level. So where is it? Just over there, in the sand. Uh-huh. Typical. Just a fuel cell? This episode is called Just a Fuel Cell. Now I've got to try and remember to name the episode that steep hill. It looks very steep and slippery. Yeah. Well, I think I can go down here. I'll just... Whoop. Cappy, are you sure you can get back up again? Uh, no problem, just land down here instead. Aha! Yeah, that'll be the day. What do you mean? Just get down here. Negative. I stand where I land. Seriously, you won't move 10 meters to the right and get me out of here. <laughs> so you set the landing spot up on the ship and I'm standing within 3 millimeter margin of those coordinates. So, nope. Great. Oh, here's the fuel cell. Got it. Wow, it's the fuel cell. It looks to be in fine condition. Okay, great. That's it. Mission done. That was easy enough. I guess there isn't anything else to do here now. Good. It's very steep and slippery. I'm not going to be able to get back up this way. Um, okay. What's over here? Nothing over here. Oh, what's this? Big rock. It's a huge piece of rock in the sand. That might be steep and slippery, but what about climbing up here? Seems to block a potential way up to the shuttle. Okay, move it. I could try to push it aside. Ow, that was heavy. You found a way back up? Yeah, I think so. Yippee, let's cut the sarcasm in future missions. Climb friendly markings. What? Oh, well, looks like it's going to be a short episode today, guys. We are done. Oh, what's this? It's the impact. With the ground being so soft, it's actually kind of strange that it didn't drill itself in deeper. Oh, wait a minute. There is something exposed in the bottom of the crater. Oh, I think we should just go back to the ship. Oh, no. What is this? It seems to be some sort of metal hatch. Did you find something there, Captain? Yeah, it looks like it. What is it? Not that I really care. Then don't ask, buddy. Well, excuse me for taking an interest in what you're doing. <laughs> okay, let's see if this will open. This is so creepy. Shuttle, I've opened the hatch. I'm thinking about jumping down. Whatever. Glad to have you with me, shuttle. Uh huh. And don't do it. Bad plan. Whoa, what is this? I can't believe it. This is giving me the shivers. The smell in here reminds me of an old attic. 
There are some alien inscriptions carved into the stone wall. They mean nothing to me. Alright. Blue button or red button? Red button's danger. <laughs> blue button! Oh wait. It's a big blue button, just like the red one on the opposite side. I can't really tell what they do. I've already... Oh, okay. Did we activate something? I wonder what those symbols on the wall really mean. So, what was down there? Uh, not sure. It might be some kind of alien machine. I didn't manage to figure out how it worked though. Ha! <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I feel obliged to report that ship detected two very strange detect a very strange signal for a second or two. What kind of signal? A subspace signal with an unknown frequency. Could the ship draw any conclusion of what it could have been? No, but he could, however, pinpoint its origin. And it originated from that hole you just came out of. Okay. Can I get down there again? The elevator's blocking the opening. Um, so is that it? did nothing else. Awesome! Welcome back, Captain. I can detect that you've obtained one, uh, one of the lost fuel cells. Congratulations! I strongly recommend that you secure that cell right away. I agree, this thing will save Space Fleet. Is this cool? Quarantine storage module online. Checking. No issues indicated. It is good to go. Just secure it on the insertion arm and I'll take the care of the rest. Great. Now what do we do? I can't believe I messed up two missions. Main deck. So we're going to the next planet. Nothing to see here. Star chart. Desert planet. This planet is the property of AAE Corp. It's currently the in ELD mode. Be advised to stay clear and avoid contact. Okay. Oops. Where was the... Alright, I guess I'm going to Merchant Mike. Merchant Mike, with prices you can afford, we specialize in ship upgrade kits, but we sell and buy pretty much any hardware. Well, I don't have any hardware, do I? Outer League Territory. Yeah, let's not go there. Um, oh, this one. Soma. Destination set to Soma. 39 days. Holy cow, I want to spend 39 days on day two. Yeah. Hey there, Captain. Have you managed to find out yet where the Balkidus went down? Yeah, I think I have. As I mentioned before, we were on our way to the Prestina system when it all happened. I was working on my station as usual, just supervising the tension rays between the internal set engine coils when suddenly... BANG! Hey, you scared me! Oh, but it was really, really loud. BANG! Hey, stop that! <laughs> sorry, I just had to try again. Anyway, well, I immediately checked the event logs from the ship. There had been a catastrophic failure in the fraction field chamber. Uh-oh. Things started to explode and everyone was running for their lives. Shortly after, the order to abandon ship came. So, I just ran to the closest escape pod. 
I heard people screaming something about pods not working. It was total chaos. I just jumped into a single, small single person pod and launched it. That's how I escaped. How did you end up on that desert planet? Well, I drifted for weeks in that small pod when something suddenly started pulling me in a new direction. I detected several gravitational waves way bigger than anything I've ever seen from any planet before. I could do nothing. After some time, I came up on this planet where you found me. I got pulled down in a very unnatural way and crashed minutes later in the sand. So how far did you drift in empty space? Quite the distance, it seems. I have calculated the location of the bullkit is here. Great, could you upload it? Upload the area to the star chart? Okay. Bullkidus crash site. Okay. Back to travel. 39 days. Wait. So we're somewhere here. Oops. Bullkidus is there. Maybe I should go to the Bullkidus first. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Stop in space. Day 12. Oh, we're going to the Bulkidus crash site. Engage. This is the location where Glacis calculated his ship, the Bulkidus, went down and crashed. Destiny. Oops, I didn't see how many days is it going to be. Oh, we just flew through outer league territory. Meanwhile, back in Space Fleet Sector. Transit ship Andromeda. Hello, people. Hoffman. Okay, so my uh, prediction is not correct. He, it's not been millions of years. Yes, ma'am. Have you seen this latest report from the Autis? I gave it a glance before we left. Why? Looks like they had some issue with the spooling coils. Yeah, I noticed. I sent a memo to Lieutenant Pender concerning our expectations from engineering. Very good. We need the station to perform at peak efficiency ASAP. About that, Commander. Yes, Grant? Since we will be the point of defense, I recommend that we change the shift rotation upon arrival. Yes, that's probably for the best. And give the night shift some extra recreational time. In case of an incident, we need them rested. Any news about the transport mission, Commander? No, the loss of those fuel cells really is a concern. And Thomas? Nothing. Couldn't Epsilon Station tell us something? No. It all just went terribly wrong. I mean, I'm sure he's okay, but... He is my husband, and I know him to be a very resourceful man. Oh, that's his wife. He'll find his way home. I can feel it. Yes, ma'am. For the moment, I really need you guys to stay focused on your mission and the war. Of course, Commander. The Union sure will get a fight if they... The Union will sure will get a fight they will not soon forget. Okay, it looks like we're about to arrive on Autis. Go and get your stuff so that we can get out, get to our post as soon as possible. Yes, Commander. A short while thereafter. Oh no! Okay, thought there was going to be an explosion. Oh, they're in the cockpit. Commander. Yes, Hoffman. I got some signals that I find worrying. Send them to my station. Yes, ma'am. Hmm, yeah, I can see what you mean here. It could just be some background noise, I guess, but there's a signal phase in there that almost looks like... Commando! Enemy contact! Damn, shields up. Star Trek. Oh, she's got a cool ship. Oh, wow. There's five of them. What are they doing here? How did they get through the barrier? Good question, Hoffman. Any sign of activity from them? Checking. No, nothing. Hail them. Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh. What is that? The enemy just locked some kind of energy beam on us. Is it hurting us? Hold on. No, not at the moment. But our shields are losing power fast. We'll be defenseless in less than a minute. Do whatever it takes to keep those shields up. Yes, ma'am. Engineering, I need full power transfer to the shield. Stat! Hoffman. Yes, Commander. Contact Space Fleet Headquarters. Right away, ma'am. This is General Sarah Wellmoo, Commander at Defense Station Autos. Yep, that's his name. 
Admiral Julius Tau here. Oh, well, you just got surrounded by a squadron of Union fighters. As of 30 seconds ago, we are at red alert. What? Inside the barrier? How is this possible? We haven't heard a, a word from barrier control. How did they get through? Unclear at this moment. The Union fleet should still be a year away from our borders. We suspect they have been granted access through the Limian Space Gate. Oh my god. If this is true, we have a serious situation here. Admiral, we've just confirmed that the enemy ships jumped from the Lime sector. They are using Space Gate. God damn Lime. Commander, how are you holding up out there? Uncertain. They've locked some kind of multi-phase beam onto our ship. They're trying to drain its power and make it shut down. However, we just managed to stop the drain by shutting down all our non-essential systems and rerouting power. But the beam is still active and I don't know how long we can counter its effect. Send us all your data so we can start analyzing this beam. We may find some way to disrupt this attack. We will also send you as many fighters as we can spare. Thank you, Admiral. We are transmitting all the data we gathered to you as we speak. You hang in there, Commander. Yes, sir. Defense Station orders out. A couple of hours later. Captain. Yes, ship. We just picked up a distress message from Barrier Control. Show me on the map, please. What does the message say? The Union has just launched a full-scale attack on the entire Space Fleet sector. <clears throat> they have taken over the Barrier Control Station and moved their entire fleet. Oh my god. Is the Sun Blaster with them? No, fortunately not. It seems to be a preemptive strike to obtain control over Space Fleet Defense Force before Sun Blaster arrives. Is there a way for us to pass through the Barrier, pass through the barrier Control Station? Isn't there some way through the outer barrier besides using barrier control station? How are the space fleet defense for outposts holding up? It's not looking good, sir. All the major stations are currently under siege and cannot fight back. What? How is that possible? The Union appears to have developed a new kind of suppressed beam that renders the stations helpless. They are all transmitting distress signals requesting help. They need outside forces to destroy the Union ships that shoot these beams. I'm not sure that we are powerful enough to aid them. No, not in our current state. But there might be an alternative way to help them beside brute force. The Space Fleet has managed to send out a, brute, a blueprint for the disruptor that can disable the suppressor beams. If the beam goes down, the outpost shouldn't have any problems defeating the siege forces. So if I manage to create this equipment, we should be able to save the outpost without fighting? Well, you are, you'll actually have to create five of them if you are to save all the outposts. One disruptor can only be used on a single time. However, I must remind you that saving our post alone will not save Earth. Our main goal is to get the fuel cell back to Oedipus. Without Oedipus charged, uh, the outpost should be in. Oops. Isn't there some other way through the outer barrier besides using barrier control station? Is there a way? Uh -huh. It's the same question. Not without a fight. Fight the Union? No offense, but are you designed? But you are designed for science. You will, of course, have to prepare for such an encounter. I'll need bigger guns and perhaps even bigger crew for that option to be viable. There is another way in, but it's a high risk option, and you'll have to go outside Space Fleet regu regulations. There is an unofficial smuggler's route through the barrier that authorities failed to get rid of. They are currently operating over at this sector. If you choose this path, be ready to pay a high price. If my data is up to date, they are demanding at least three star fragments to let a ship pass through. Isn't a star fragment the base component of your fuel cells? Yes, it is. They are also required if you want to upgrade your weapon and defense systems, so choose carefully how you spend them. Okay, I know my choices. I'll update the star map with your recent information. Okay, now I'm going to stop again. They're all the way over there. Like, how am I going to? So what do I have to do? Oh. I don't even 
understand what I'm supposed to do. do I think we're just going to continue right so they were at least one fuel cell perhaps examine the crash of Glacier's ship smuggler route unguarded option to enter the space fleet sector of process 3 sieged option to enter the space fleet sector need to for battle. Right. Okay. How do I build one? I don't know. Go check out the Bulkidus. Yeah, apparently, we're looking for star fragments, three star fragments. But I just spent four days traveling. Oh. this okay nothing that way there's a container it's a metal container my guess is that these containers got thrown out from the cargo bay at impact great thank you there is nothing of use inside this one what about this one wow that's quite a sight this wreck is enormous it's a ship, man. Nothing in here either. It's completely empty, I'm afraid. Great. What the broken ship part? I'm not sure what this is, but at the top of it is very reflective. The thing is too heavy to pick up or move. Oops. It looks like the control pad for some mining lasers. As far as I can see, it still help. It still seems to be connected to the ship. Okay, why would I want to be turning it on? No power. Oop. Holy cow, nice jump. Ah. Uh oh, gonna get lasered. Oh 
maybe I should I'm gonna jump down here. What's this? Nothing. Oh, jump. Do your Superman jump. What does he say? I think I can reach that ball here. Wow. It's like super athletics. Especially onto the bulkhead of a ship. That's nuts. Hit there, hit there. But it doesn't go to there anyway. Is this one not working? Oh, not working. Alright. I've got nothing in my inv. This is going to be such a long, tedious process. And it was probably the other one that I was using, wasn't it? <gasps> How many times can I jump? do that while the laser's on. Oops, I just destroyed that laser. Oh. to go here. Right, well, let's see what happens if we turn this one. How many positions does this one have? Can I make it go to here? And rock. This is very old space lead technology. Okay. That one wasn't working. Whoops. Oh. 
we gotta load. That was messed up. Let's try again. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just leaving here with a laser. Flush. Nope, this one. Why? What am I trying to achieve here? So if I move this, it'll aim it down here, then what? Oh no, nope. Are both of them? Is that what I want to do? Nope. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Bull kiddos. This is it. The place is shit. What could possibly have brought such a big ship to crash on the surface? Alright, 
No idea. Empty containers. Must be a way to get both of them. Welcome back, Captain. I noticed that you retrieved some items from the planet. Yes, I got a laser thing from the bulk of this. Can we use it on my ship? Not directly, no, but you can always check out the auto forge and see if there's anything you can make out of them. Where the frick is the auto forge? in the lab. Storage, fire alarm, sink, heater, tube rack. Oops, no. Okay, so there's a quick way back to the cockpit. What does that do? This is the reset button to turn off the alarm. Medical food dispenser. Must be up here. Bio chair, yep, that's the toilet. Circuit breaker. Especially technology in the field of artificial bioconnection. This uh, nope. I don't think I should mess around with just fun. Looks like something special, huh? Droid workstation. Where's the auto forge? That's to the quarantine storage module. Airlock. Okay, I guess the auto forge is something I don't have yet. What are you doing here? You haven't seen any landing coordinates yet. Alright, well I guess that'll do us for today. A spaceship that is dripping liquid doesn't sound like a good idea. No, oh, wait. Jeff, Hatch. These are all bedrooms, aren't they? Intruder or that lever. He's room two. Let me check this guy. Oh. Oh, there's a piece of paper here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If anyone knows where the auto forge is, please let me know because I have no idea. Or maybe it's this thing. Anyway, we'll check it out in the next episode. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. Bye for now.